Hey, welcome to another episode of Minnesota Implement, just making shit up as we go. Uh, today, I am assembling and getting ready to deliver an order for a dealer. Um, we have a kind of custom unit here. Now, if you look back in my other videos, for about the past four or five years, we've been building what we call the vine puller or the sidewinder puller. Uh, which traditionally was intended for vineyards for pulling out uh, dead vines or blighted vines and their arbor posts in pre-established runs of a vineyard. Uh, this is a modification of that unit. So we've got the uh, jaws of our tree puller sitting off to the side, so this would be out just ahead of the tire of the machine. Uh, and then this is an extendable arm, so you can pull that pin and then there's three holes there so that you can extend this unit out four feet out the side of the machine roughly. Obviously depends on the size of your machine. But this one is an adaptation again. Uh, we've got a 10 inch wide by 10 inch deep jaw on here. And what this company is looking to do, uh, or the client of my dealer is looking to do, is set pole barn posts. So they want to be able to drive the machine down the run, pick up a post, stand it upright, and set it into the hole. And so they want the unit slightly offside so that they could grab the post, let's say, at five or six feet up, and then lift their boom up as they tip back. So they're grabbing the post in the middle rather than by the very end like you would have to if the puller was directly in front of the machine, because otherwise you'd be straddling the end of your post and have a heck of a time getting any kind of depth on the post without the post being lodged under the machine. By picking up beside the machine, you're able to grab the post further up and hence not damage the post as bad because you don't need as tight of a grip because you're not end grabbing a 20 foot tall post. You could grab it at six or eight feet up and set it into the hole. Um, and then the other adaptation that we made with this was we made it dual direction, so you can physically slide that stick out of there and flip it to the other side of the unit, and then just reroute your hoses through the other loop. Um, so it allows you to work off of the right or left side of the unit. So, now obviously, if you're going to use this as a puller, once you start to extend that stick, it wouldn't be too bad here. Let's say if you've got a 10,000 pound machine, and you're pulling some trees here, you could probably pull a four inch tree out there because you're right ahead of the tire. But if you extend that stick out to full extension and try to pull that four inch tree, first of all, your, your machine is just gonna tip over. And second of all, if you're aggressive with it, you could bend this stick. Um, it was not intended for putting 15,000 pounds of pull force into a tree trunk to rip it out while at full extension. It's just not intended for that. In this case, it's intended for either pulling small trees or small posts. Uh, you know, you could drive down a fence line and pull out the posts that are uh, 24 inch deep with uh, 8 inch or 9 inch diameter concrete. No problem at all with it right where it is. But if you get a 30 inch concrete uh, footing, you're going to damage the unit again. It's just not intended for that. In that case, you need to go to our super duty standard configuration pullers so you're pulling ahead of the machine this is more of a purpose built implement in this case purposely built for setting pole barn poles so we are minnesota implement uh, this is a modified version of our sidewinder or vine puller as we have referred to it and uh feel free to give us a call in reference to any of your custom attachment needs also, please make sure to check out our website at minnesotaimplement.com and check out our YouTube channel. We've got about 130 videos, some of them long and rambling, but most of them contain very good information. Thank you for watching.